Hi, in this tutorial, I'll talk about how to pass a information from one job to another job, how to pass build parameters from one job to another job. So let's understand what we are going to achieve here. Let's say I have job one, which has two parameters, build parameter tech and author. And I want to pass the same information to job two once we trigger that second job from job one. You will also learn in this tutorial what is the build parameters and why do you need that. So build parameters are whenever you want to pass some information, dynamic information to job while trigger it. That has been done using build parameters. You can create those parameters in the configure section of job. We'll see that. So how we'll achieve this? First, to do so, you need a plugin, parameterized trigger plugin. We install this and then we'll create two parameters uh, in job one also I'll create the same parameters in job two same name parameters even if you are passing information second job should also has same parameters and will trigger the job two from job one in the post build section while choosing some specific option that I will explain okay so here I have two job job one and job two first let's understand how you can create build parameters so what happened if you see here you see the option build now right now you are not passing any information but let's say you want to pass some dynamic information to your job so what happened go to the this section and you will find a one option here called this project is parameterized now you will see an option called add parameter so there are number of options what kind of parameter you want to add you can add boolean choice credential parameter we'll talk about each and every parameter in a separate tutorial but purpose of this tutorial to understand how you pass information from one job to another job so what i'll do i'll say i need string parameter string parameter will have just text box right so i will say the name is tech if you want to pass some default value you can pass it here so let's say you you don't provide any value you want a default value should be passed in so let's say tech is java just for the sake of provide information and let me add another parameter called let's call it author and let's say same name default value is this aem right so we have added two parameters now and let's print those parameters here so let's say build step inside that add shell script so i'm saying tech book and the value which is coming from the build parameters and written by this so what happened it will print the name which is coming from there and in post build section for now just i'll show you you will see these options so whenever i install that additional plugin you will see additional option here so what i'll do let's save this and i'm creating the same parameter in job 2 as well you can create by yourself just create this same way i'll create two more parameters in this job with the same name okay with same name so if you want to give default value in this you can give otherwise leave it it's completely up to your choice just save it now you have to install that plugin then only we will be able to pass from information from job 1 to job 2 so how you can install that come here and go to the manage jenkins you will find a option called manage plugins here you will find a different options like available plugin install plugin and advanced settings so inst install is whatever on your machine installed right whatever the plugins install on jenkins so let's search if you already have para it doesn't find anything so if you have already installed you should see here right go to the available plugins and search for parameter so if you the first come is this is pretty famous uh, plugin so just install this click and say uh, install without restart or you can check this as well it will install your jenkins should re restart itself if it doesn't come just start it by yourself in case it doesn't restart so plugin has been successfully installed now come to this post build section of job one because i will trigger from job one to job two in post build section now we will see a additional option called trigger parameterize build on other project this option is coming only when you install that plugin so choose this now you have to choose which project to build so let's say i want to build job two so choose job two as i said it sometimes there is a space so remove that space and you won't get this error right now option when you want to trigger this so choose right now as per your need so i am just saying always always whenever the first one complete trigger the second one it's completely your choice now 
you can add your own parameters as well here but what the option i'm choosing right now so option is current build parameters so you can pass whatever your current build parameters are those will be passed to next job and what are those which we have created there are other options we can learn other options as well there are number of options available so let's say current build parameters and that's it just apply save right in job 2 I'll print those so that you can see so again I added a shell script in build step and saying values coming from job 1 and same value I printed here so let's save it and let's build the job 1 right so once I see option, it will say this build with parameter. So I'll change this value. I would say, uh, let's say Python and let's say here author is, let's say this guy. Okay. And build this. So you see build has been triggered. And if you want to see what is printed here, so come here in this build build open it and see output console output and it is coming like tech book python and written by author this guy sunil now what happened this it even this is saying triggering a new build of job 2 so you can go to job 2 you either you can go from here or menu so job 2 and even saying that upstream job is one so that is triggered by this one now this is the build just open this build and open the console output and you will see here even you see this message started by us upstream project job one right and you see here this is the user which actually started and value you will see here values from job one which we mentioned tech book is python now this is coming from the job one and written by this guy sunil which is coming from the job one watch we passed from job one there are number of use cases you can pass on your own parameters while creating it we'll see that in coming tutorial purpose was just to explain a simple use case how you can pass parameters from a job to another job i hope you understood if you have any question add your comment